What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I just got back from the coffee shop in town. They sell flowers too, like seriously. Are these not like the most beautiful things that you've ever seen? I love them. Every time I go and get a coffee, I have to also get the flowers. Okay, but we're not here to talk about flowers today. We are here to talk about highlights and how to make your highlights into a sales machine. If there's one thing for you to do, it's to make sure that you're making the most of Instagram's features. And one that is sorely neglected, hi, guilty, is the Instagram highlights section. But this section is the perfect piece of real estate for followers to connect with you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it for the most impact and generate you sales while you're sleeping. If we haven't met yet, I'm Shannon, a New England photographer, and I love helping small business owners and creative entrepreneurs build a community, create an impact, and make conversions on social media. So you saw that I just got back from my favorite coffee shop and I love getting an afternoon iced latte. I don't care how cold it is, I'm gonna drink an iced latte. And I wanna know what your favorite drink is when it comes to coffee, tea, drop them in the comments below. I think it's important for us before we go any further about strategy to talk about what exactly are highlights. Well, they're located right beneath your profile and they look like little bubbles. And these are actually Instagram stories that you save to highlights that you create. Some of your Instagram stories are very important. So you wanna be able to have them up for longer than 24 hours. And this is where the highlights come in. They're basically a catalog of your best stories and they will stay up as long as you want them to. There's no limit on how many highlights that you can create. However, you can only add 100 stories to each highlight. I would not go crazy if someone goes to look at your highlight and sees that there are a million slides, they are leaving your page immediately. In your highlights, you want to showcase everything that your customer would need or want to know about your business. So think of them in terms of your website. Every website has a navigation menu and think about what it is in your navigation menu that you can start to recreate as highlights, the most important factors. Let's have a conversation about what to focus on. You want to have an about me or a start here page because everybody wants to know all of the things about you, your why, your inspiration, how you started, and that is going to go at one of the very beginning of your highlights. You wanna have a work with me. This is going to explain where people can work with you, what kind of programs you offer, what kind of products you have, and their benefits. Then you wanna have an FAQ, frequently asked questions. So have fun with this one, get a little cheeky, do some behind the scenes, but definitely have a frequently asked questions because that is where people are going to look for info. Tips, any tips that are related to your industry or niche should definitely go in there. Contact information. You wanna make it as easy as people to get to the point of sale as possible. Don't make them look for you. Portfolio, featuring your best services and products and again, benefits. Okay, you want to have a results and testimonials. You want to show social proof. This one in particular is very important because people are more likely to buy when they see praise from other like-minded people. It helps to show that you are a match for their needs, that you're going to give them the exact thing they're looking for. Do a meet the team highlight. People love getting to know you and your business, and that includes the people you work with. It builds the likability factor. Once you sit down and sketch out your highlights, be sure to think about your covers. There's a couple ways that you can do this, and one is by choosing an image in your actual highlight, or you can create a custom branded image in Canva, or just use your brand covers like I do. The key to making highlights legible is to keep it clean. Don't use a lot of words because people aren't going to see them, it's too small. But you actually have a title underneath of your highlights so that people are gonna know what the topic is anyways. But you wanna make sure that you're keeping the name short because of course, Instagram only allows you so many characters for the title. If you don't choose a cover, Instagram is gonna pull a cover from one of your photos. Trust me, it never looks great. Something to keep in mind is having a CTA at the end of each highlight. Invite them to join your email list, direct them to your website, or one of my favorites is to ask them to DM you. When you start a DM thread, you get to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them, and this builds a relationship and it allows you to get to know them. 
you should check out the video where I tell you how to grow your community on Instagram in 2022 because you want to get to know everybody in your community. Be sure to vary your highlights. Have some slides talking, some slides of photos, some slides of Canva graphics. Changing things up are going, is going to keep the viewer's attention. One more thing. You want to make sure that you have your most relevant highlights at the very beginning. So when you add a highlight to Instagram, it will automatically bump that highlight to the front of the line. And since you aren't posting in each highlight every day, you want to make sure that you keep the important ones up front. Okay, so how do we do this? You can actually go in and when you post the story of the day, add that story to the highlight. Once you add the story to the highlight, Instagram is gonna bump that highlight to the front of the line, but then you have a random story in it. Well, as soon as you post the story to the highlight, you immediately go in and then you delete the story from the highlight. Here are the three highlights that I recommend that you keep top of mind or at the front of the line. The about you highlight or start here. The portfolio or specific product highlight. And finally, the testimonial highlight. These are the ones that you want new people that land on your page to gravitate towards. And these are the ones that are going to help you make more conversions. Setting up your Instagram highlights should be easy. It just needs a little bit of thought, a little bit of strategy, and your audience and potential new followers and sales are going to be able to connect with you in a meaningful way. Look, there is an actual formula when it comes to a complete selling machine as a highlight. And I included that tutorial in my content membership program, which is basically a content library full of things to make your life easier. And they're not just full of things, they're done for you templates, which is even better. Because I love you guys so much and I'm so excited about this, I actually created a seven day trial period for the membership for a dollar. That's right, a dollar for seven days, and you get to see what it's all about. Okay, so now that you know exactly how to set your highlights up, don't you think you need to take another look at your bio? You can check out that video right here, and I will see you over there.